Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Divination of the Ancients Oracle cards. And this deck is by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters. And I just received this about a half an hour ago. It comes in a very nice sturdy box, which is going to protect the cards. And let me see what we have inside this box. Okay, we have a beautiful guidebook, nice glossy finish, a nice durable cover. And inside the guidebook, we're going to find, of course, our table of contents. We're going to have an introduction of the cards. Uh, it's going to talk about divination through the ages. Uh, how to read cards, how to use the cards, three card spreads, uh, the Cornish cross. It's going to tell you what the different cards would stand for. And then we get into the card messages. And here we will find the picture of the card, a brief description, other divinatory meetings, uh, the arrow revealed. Uh, which is the arrow, which is focus. Astrology, and you have your astrology card. It's going to give you a brief description. And as you can see, it's going to go through each and every card and its description. They also have an incantation, okay? Um, and it's telling you more about the black cat, a little story, uh, what the card meaning is, and as you can see, it's going to go through the entire deck of cards. Okay, and then in the back, it's going to tell you about the artist, uh, about the authors. The artist uh, for this deck is Richard Crooks. And it's basically about 119 pages. Uh, so very nice guidebook. And then, of course, we have our cards. Very interesting. A swirl pattern on the back with the stars. And these are very large cards, as you can see. They cover my entire hand. And let's take a look at the cards. We have very beautiful, very uh, glossy cards. Really nice card stock, too. This one is Arrow Focus. Astrology Destiny. Augur. Mastery, Aura, Observation, and look at the Aura. And closer to the body, you see the different Auras as well. Very beautiful artwork. Black Cat, good luck. Book, Knowledge, Candle, Illumination, Clouds, Mystical. These are very simple cards, but yet they're very... Um, very colorful, uh, very strong energy to them. Uh, coins, which would be abundance. Crystal ball, clarity. Oops, these were stuck together here. Crystals, healing. You have a pouch of crystals and all the crystals surrounding it. Dice is gamble. Dictionary, communication. Dowsing rods, seeker. Dreams, Incubation, Feathers, Message, Fire, Spontaneity, Flowers, Fickle, Footprints, Direction, Fortune Cookie, Fortuitous, you have a little fortunes laying here and the cookies with the question marks, very interesting card, Geomancy, which is Patience, Handwriting, which is authenticity. Hydromancy, which is illusion. I Ching, which is change. Lots, which is chance. Numerology, which is precision. Oghem, which is nature. Oracle, which is wisdom. Ornithomancy, which is omen. 
Ouija board, which is caution. Palmistry, which is interpretation. Pendulum, which is decision. Phrenology, which is certainty. Psychometry, which is sensitivity. Runes, which is perception, beautiful runes. Scrying mirror, which is projection. Shagai, which is fragmented. Shooting star, which is confirmation. Smoke, which is prayers. Spells, which is alchemy. Tarot, which is guidance. Tea leaves, which is foresight. Thunder and lightning, power, and look at the, the energy of this card. It is a very powerful picture. Like I said, the artwork on these are absolutely beautiful. We have Wheel of Fortune, which is fate, and Wishbone, which is affirmation. So I'm going to take a moment this evening to read this book, find out exactly what the meanings are of these cards, because they're very interesting cards, um, very different from anything else I have in my Oracle collection. Uh, these would be great for a beginner because the book that comes with it, the guidebook, is full of knowledge. You can learn these cards. Uh, you can take one of these cards and use that as a, a daily meditation or something to focus on. Uh, as far as the shuffling of these cards, very easy to shuffle. Even though they're big cards, they're very easy to shuffle. I'm very satisfied with this purchase. Um, if you're looking to get a unique Oracle deck, I would highly recommend these. They're very, very different from what I have, and they're going to be a welcome addition to my ever-growing Oracle card deck collection. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back with more reviews.